Hello and welcome to another tutorial on how to make a game in GameMaker. And in this tutorial we're going to fix some things with the pathfinding. And uh, I'm trying to record in a different resolution, 64 by 4080. Ah, uh, 640 by 480, yeah. Because uh, apparently it wasn't sh the YouTube when I uploaded it, it didn't come out very clear because I was using like a weird resolution, but it should be fixed now. So one thing to fix our uh, pathfinding is I found a little error here. I didn't put a plus one here because I'm trying to find the next point, but I was only finding the next point for X. I wasn't finding the next point for Y. So just add that plus one there. Uh, the next thing is they weren't trying to avoid walls. So the reason for that is we didn't tell it to avoid walls. So to do that, we have to put an MP grid uh, add instances, and this will take uh, the ID of the grid, which is grid, the object you want to avoid, which is object wall, and if you want it to be precise or not, which we don't care, so just put it false. That should be good, and uh, just set object box to solid, so the zombies aren't won't be able to go through them. So. If you haven't noticed already, the boxes will be like barricades for the zombies. So the zombies will not try to avoid them, they'll actually try to break through them. And that's where the boxes come in. If you have played uh, Nazi Zombies on Call of Duty or any game sort of like that, where they have barricades and you can rebuild them, that's what the object boxes are. So, I should just get rid of that. Uh, the pathfinding should be alright. So I'm actually going to pause while it loads because it takes uh, quite a long time. Okay, so as you can see, I put barricades all around here. So you see, I can't go. Oh yeah, I also added a collision method or collision event for uh, the player. So as you can see, the zombies are trying to get through only those barricades. You see, they're not trying to follow me right here. They're only trying to get through the barricades, and that means that our pathfinding is working. So. Uh, as you can see, I couldn't go through the object boxes, which, so, actually I did a recording before, but I didn't like it, so I restarted. So, uh, I added a, a collision event with the object box on the object man uh, class, and I put a bounce against all objects. Uh, not precisely, and against all objects. So, it's that. So now we have to go let the enemy break through the, the barricade. So to do that, just go down here. And we can almost take the damaged player script and copy it and use it for the bl blocks. So, sorry, just a second. Okay, so, uh, except we want to, instead of checking for the distance between uh, the the enemy and the player, we want to check the distance between the nearest barricade and the enemy. So to do this, I'm just going to check, make an if statement here and put instance exist. So if instant, if an object box exists, so we want to get any errors if it doesn't exist. So if one, at least one exists, then we'll create a new variable called box and box equals the instance, the nearest instance of that uh, class. So instance uh, nearest and it's going to be the nearest to the enemy's position and we want to check for object box and then we want to get a uh, box distance this is the distance between uh, the enemy and the box so which is which is the point point uh, distance between this position and the box's position box.x and box.y okay looking good and we want to instead of distance we want to put a uh, box distance except uh, the only thing is if there isn't a box that exists there's box distance hasn't been declared so to do this I'm just going to put a uh, box distance equals reach plus one and this will basically make the box distance just out of the pl enemy's reach so I'm actually just going to change the reach variable to uh, 32, 33, how about, 
which is uh, more than the diameter of the sprites. One more than the diameter of the sprite, so uh, it can reach towards the center of the barricade, or else uh, this would never work. But instead of changing the object man's HP, we want to change the box's HP. So just change that to box HP minus equal damage, and it's looking good. So run it, and let's see if it works. Okay. So they're coming at us. See, as you can see, look, uh, the crates or the barricades are cracking up, and look, they just destroyed one of them. So, as you can see, it's working, and they're slowly coming through, look. So, it's working perfectly. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so I'm just going to exit out of this. And the next thing, uh, we actually don't want the barricades to be completely destroyed. We want the barricade just, just to be torn down so you can rebuild it again. So I'm actually going to just create another frame for the sprite to do that and I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so what I did was I just created another sprite uh, for our crate and this is basically just a bunch of planks oops, bunch of planks on the ground uh, so that's basically it. And I'm actually going to change the box and go here and instead of getting destroyed, I'm just going to comment that out and just put HP equals zero. Okay, so I should give me a second. I'm going to close. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I actually just finished lunch, but you know, probably don't care. Okay, so actually in our enemy class, uh, we only want it to avoid. Uh, solids. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I just ate lunch. We only want it to avoid solids if uh, it's not at its last frame. So, actually, let me check for that. Just a second. Oh, no, never mind. Actually, uh, I'm just going to go to the man and just make sure that. You'll do it all objects. And then uh, the box. I think there's a way to make your s make you uh, not solid. So I think it's like object uh, set solid. Set solid. Uh, I think it's what's this? I think it's just put zero there and then uh, alts. Yes. I think that's I think that's good. Or just uh, this or object. Ah, uh, I'll figure it out. Yeah, okay. Object is actually object index. So yeah, just put that there. So that makes sure that. Uh, oh, actually, so that uh, enemies can pass through once it's at its last frame. So, let's go ahead and run this. And see if it works. Is it looking good so far? Okay, the enemies can break the barricades. I can shoot them. Okay, good. Okay, it still seems to be solid, though. That's a problem. I'm running out of time, so we most likely will have to do this in the next tutorial. So, uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate the rating, and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.